Hello everyone. On this video we are going to review how to use the Marker Plus tools to create a very easy setup which is a MACD crossover. On the MACD we have three lines the MACD itself, the average and the difference between the MACD and the average. On this chart we can see the three lines. The green line is the MACD. The purple line is the average. It is the average of last nine bars. If we use nine, uh, one bar both lines are overlapped. Let's use the default settings. So we have the MACD, the average of the last nine bars of the MACD, and the histogram is the difference between both lines. So when the histogram crosses zero, we have a crossover. to trade these crossovers and this is valid for any crossover setup not only the MACD we use the copy indicator to copy the MACD line we select the indicator MACD with the default settings select the line MACD I am assigning a name MACD in small letters. Now I will copy the average also with a name of ABC from the MACD indicator, same settings but with the line ABC. We can overlap both lines to check that both are the same with the MACD. We can overlap it over the MACD just to be sure that both lines are matching and we can see that they are equal. Once we have both lines copied then we can use the crossover indicator and we put the name of the first line, the MACD. This is the name that we assigned on the first copy indicator. This is the second line, ABC. So on the crossover, we test the MACD versus the ABC and the difference, we assign any name and we set it to paint crossover to the upside and to the downside. Painting arrow ups in color green and arrow downs in color red. And these are the arrows. Something else that we can do, maybe not on the MACD, but on stochastic or maybe other indicators. On, on MACD, we don't have limits on the vertical scale. On stochastic, we have a, a range from 0 to 100. So we, we cannot specify overbought and oversold levels here. But we could, for example, taking crossover downs only on the positive side and crossovers up only on the negative side. So we, we should be taking this short and then a long here. This is not a good trade. 
but for the first example I, I we can try taking all the signals so it mostly depends on the configuration of the settings and the targets and the stops we could try the current configuration with a market replay so to automate the signals we use marker plus on the replay account entering long on arrow apps with any color and entering short on arrow downs also any color and that's all then we enable the chart trader and we can start with a, a small ATM with only one contract 12 ticks of target versus 15 ticks of stop and let's start from 8 a.m enable the longs and shorts in automatic mode and increase the speed The following signal must be a uh, crossover to the upside, a long. And here we have a green arrow, it was a loser. Order filled. Target now filled. Now a short signal. It Order almost recovered filled. the Order loss filled. of the first trade. Or target filled. Order filled. This short was reversed to long. Target filled. Order target filled. Order filled. We have several options to optimize this. We can apply some kind of filtering. But first we need to start Order uh, filled. optimizing the settings Order of the MACD. Filled. Target filled maybe using a faster period order filled target filled here we can order see filled. a long target that was reversed to short order filled target before filled. the the stop is triggered Um, something else that we can try is if instead of using small target and stops like here if we use a twice bigger uh, position but with uh, bigger targets we should get at least twice the profit at least so we can try with uh, two contracts 10 and 30 versus 20 so the first target is smaller but the second position has a much better target we should at, uh, at least get the double of the profit let's start again from 8 a.m. we are using a bigger, uh, a bigger stop now we are using a 20 tick stop so the, the first loser, now we have the, the long loser, we are risking 20 ticks in two contracts, so it is almost $400 in a loss, in a losing trade. Order filled. Now the, the stop is just a bit bigger so we have enough space to allow the reversal and the short uh, was not enough to recover the first loss 
Order filled. Or Order filled. Or Target filled. Order Order filled. Order filled. Here we have the long reversal to short. Filled. Order filled. Order filled. Order filled. Target. Target filled. And this is the the same time where we stopped, and we got almost three times the profit of the last run. So with twice the size, we got almost three times the profit, but risking a little more. So this video has been useful for you, and if you have any question, please post below this video. Thank you everyone, bye bye.